All right, guys. For those of you that are watching, I want to say thank you for tuning into my channel and uh, supporting me and watching my videos. But first off, I want to show my string jig I made. Uh, I seen them online and I did not like the price. So I said, hey, I like making stuff, so I'm going to make one. So that's what I did. So first off, I want to show you this, this string jig. It runs just on a, a rail and it runs down to 120 inches. So if you want to make a string, 120 inches, just get you a 10 foot piece of rail. But, so those of you that don't know how to make a string, I'm going to explain it to you real quick. So you get your uh, string material, 450, well whatever string material you want. You run it this way, around these posts. And then on the ends here, you serve your yoke in. And then when you get done serving your yoke, you can turn this way and you can do the rest of your serving. But to get the string length, you gotta have a way of measuring it. So what I do is I turn this one that way. This one's stationary. This one don't move. I have not put my tape on here yet, which I'm gonna do and I ordered it, but I'm waiting on it. And that's not too expensive either. But you put tape on here and you put the tape in a way so we're when this post is out here, your measurement, you subtract that little bit off your tape. So you get that measurement from, from the end here. You'll actually get it from here. That way when you measure from here to here, you'll have the right measurement. I, anyway, I'll explain it. But, um, so I made these, these bottom plates so they can slide. That one slides very easy if you want to see that. It slides very easy. Don't hang up. And when you're ready to tighten them up, I got this off of an old wood planer, and it fits just right. So these bolts are half inch shank. Uh, shoulders a half inch around. And the holes that go through these posts are a half inch. So you snug it down, it won't move, it's nice and strong. So this is my stationary, and then this one I can move up and down the rail to get my length. So you just tighten these down, and they won't move this way, they won't move that way. This thing's very solid. Uh, so let me show you how I made these posts. It's pretty simple. So I just took some plates, it's an inch and a half, about six inches long this way, and I took and cut two pieces the same length, and I made them so they would sandwich together. Now this one, I cut down, and it's the width of your rail, whatever rail you get, you'll cut that the width of your rail. Mine is just around three quarters of an inch. So you'll make this sort of slide in your rail and it'll sandwich together. And when it sandwiches together, it'll clamp on your rail and it won't let go nowhere. Now I sprayed some graphite on this top piece and underneath. So it don't matter how many times I turn these things, they ain't gonna get tight. <clears throat> these bars go through my plate. Now, weld them and smooth them off, and you can't tell it, but they are eight inches long. This bar is eight inches long, and it'll go in here right at a half inch. I put just regular little pins down in there. I drilled the end of the rod and put them pins in, and I put Allen screws to hold my pins. Now, this rail, that rail that I make, makes my what you call that T or whatever. That is 12 inches long. So if you split it in the middle, it's six inches. So you just want to make this hole that your rod goes in, you want to make it even from this end to here, the same as the other end. That way they come out right when you spin it around. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, good idea, it's very strong and it's cheap. You ain't got a pan arm and a leg. For those of you that like doing archery, it's 
kind of hard to persuade the wifey or whoever that, hey, I need to spend a bunch of money so I can make strings. Well, why don't you just buy a string? Well, you don't want to buy a string. You want to make them. <clears throat> this is a simple way of doing it. It's a lot of satisfaction. It's cheap. This whole thing I have got put together, made myself, for just about 120 bucks. And if you look online, you ain't gonna find a good string jig for 120 bucks. You might find you something. I ain't gonna say it, but you ain't gonna find one this strong. Uh, very simple to make. Very simple. If you have a hacksaw, okay, it ain't as precise, but if you have a hacksaw, a grinder, if you have, you know, just a regular um, bandsaw, uh, you can cut all your pieces, drill your holes. Uh, it's simple. I mean, it's easy to make. You got a friend that knows how to weld, get these welded there. Just be careful. Don't get them too hot. They'll warp. You want these perfectly straight. These have to be... These have to be perfectly straight to one another. This has to be perfectly straight. This part right here has to be square. And I say exact. Because if you don't get it exact and you get one side off, it will cause peep rotation. So you want to make sure they're even. But it's very simple to make. Don't be scared to try it. You, once you do it, you'll be glad. You'll be bragging to all your buddies and showing them your string jig like I'm doing. Next thing I'm going to do is get a string stretcher that's on the way. Uh, that's coming from Specialty Archery. Very nice. Uh, that's on the way. That's coming. But hope y'all like this. I got a lot of other things I want to show y'all. Trying to get a good camera to video. And I know I don't have very good lighting. I know I don't have very good sound. But this is the best I got right now. Hope y'all appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my videos. Please keep watching. And I'm going to put most of my stuff that I make, I will post it. I want to do bow grips. I want to make bows for y'all. I'm going to show some more tuning. Uh, we got some things coming about heavy light arrows. I know that's a big discussion now, but we're going to discuss that too. I might even do that today. But thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.